This channel is for adults and not for kids. Hey guys, thanks for stopping back by. So I just got home uh, from work. Isn't that a cool cup? Matches the cool coasters. Um, I just got home from work, and today I got the the new Arrow um, box set of um, Count Yorga, the Count Yorga collection. So it's got Count Yorga and the Return of Count Yorga from Arrow, both on Blu-ray, and it's got some cool stuff in it. Thought I would show you. So, this is this is a uh, Count Yorga. It has reversible artwork. This is the one that I like. This is the old school poster. And it's got a bunch of stuff in here too. This is the this is the other artwork. I'll show it off to you guys. It's cool new artwork, but I like the old school posters. But it is nice. This is the new artwork that somebody did. It's cool, but I don't know. I'm just a sucker for the old, old posters. And there's a there's got to be other people out there that like the older posters too, because why else would they include it? But it's nice when they give you the the option to choose. If you're an old fuck like me and you just like the um, cool older posters, it's nice to be able to to be able to choose that. So, um, it comes with a poster, which looks like it's a, it's a poster of both of those images. So you can have a, the old school poster with that dude being torn apart by all the vampire chicks, or you can have the new image. It's cool, but man, it's got all those folds in it, so it's like, I don't know, I guess you could put them in a frame, but you'd still have those stupid folds in it. I don't know, can can you iron posters? Like, how would you get that out? If you know how, how to get that out, leave me a comment. <laughs> um, like, is there a safe way to iron out posters to get rid of that fold, or is it just fucked once they fold it? I don't think, yeah, I don't think you could get those creases out. Anyway, it comes with lobby cards, which is pretty damn cool. And then on the back is the, the artwork that's on the box set. This is a cool one when he's peeking in on the couple in the VW bus. Ah, oh, there's that's where he meets his end. Shouldn't have been so full of yourself, Robert Quarry. <laughs> oh wow, this is neat. Oh, this is fucking cool. Okay. This looks like a little booklet of um, newspaper ads. Oh, shit. That's awesome. I love this shit. Uh, the kind of, like, ads in the newspapers, showtimes and stuff. I always liked um, th this poster. 
with the with that female uh, vampire. That one too. I have always liked this one where she's got it's a double image of her. I've always liked that one. But uh this one of the chick holding the skull, that's cool too. Oh man, this is really nice. I like this. Oh yeah, I eat this shit up all day. Free radio spots. Man. I love Arrow. It's an awesome company. They're always putting out good stuff. You guys need to pick this set up. This is really nice. This has got a lot of cool stuff in it I, I didn't even know they had. I'm going to have to go back and read this stuff tonight. That's awesome. Um, I've got the Blu-ray in, in my player right now, so if you guys hear anything, that's what you're hearing. It's, it's um, on the menu right now. Okay, this is the second one. Again, I chose the old school poster. I remember there was a resin kit. Um, I think I saw it from uh, Dimensional Designs. If you guys used to build resin kits, garage kits like I used to, do you guys uh, remember Dimensional Designs? I know you guys know who Monsters in Motion, uh, that company, <clears throat> but Dimensional Designs, they used to make um, resin kits, garage kits. They had a kit of that image right there. It was it was uh, Count Yorga's head on top of like a eagle's claw with a with two hands. And one hand has a mouth and one hand has an eyeball. There was an actual garage kit of this image. That's a trip. Okay, so again, more lobby cards. I know you guys are thinking to yourself, John, how can we take you as a serious horror fan if you're sitting on a couch and you've got a stuffed stitch sitting up there behind you? Because that stitch came from my girlfriend. And that's all I'm saying. <laughs> Stitch is a monster. He's just a cuter than normal monster. So those, those are all the little lobby cards. And again, it's got the poster of the, the artwork that I didn't choose. And then the artwork that I did choose. See up here at the top, the Death Master is back from beyond the grave. Remember, if you guys remembered like a video or two ago when I was talking about um, the Count Yorga movies. And I mentioned there's a, a third movie. He's not Yorga, but he's another vampire. It's just straight up called the Death Master. So I don't know. I think they, they had it in their heads they were going to make three Yorga films. But it's just odd that 
in the promotional stuff for this film, they call him the Death Master. And then in the next film, they're like, hey, uh, Bob, we need a name for this uh, vampire. Well, you know, isn't it Count Yorga? No! What's that term? Ah, oh, Death Master. That's the one. And they, they went with that. And they talked in that voice, too. Smoking a fat cigar. Um, yeah, there's the, there's the other artwork that I did not choose. I mean, how does that artwork even compare to that? Why wouldn't you pick that? Right? Okay, then it comes with a cool booklet. That artwork is sweet. I really like that artwork. It kind of is reminiscent of Salem's Lot a little bit. And it's got some really cool... There's Mr. Slimy himself, Robert Coy. Uh, it's got some cool photos in it. I like that one. That's a really nice image. I like how his whole mouth is just all sharp teeth. Not just the canines or fangs, but... Every tooth in his mouth is sharp. This is good stuff. I know in my other video I said how Robert Corey just gives off an air of just being very arrogant and full of himself and stuck up and how it actually works for the character of Count Yorga because he's very aloof and hoity-toity and like his shit doesn't stink. But I stand by my statement and I think that's the way this dude really was. Like every film you see him in, he seems to act that way. <laughs> Even his autograph is pretentious. To Tim, best wishes. I don't know. It works for the movie, though. It, 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 it really does work for the movie. Somebody else that was kind of like that was um, Barbara Steele. So I met Barbara Steele at Monster Palooza. I just posted a picture of it on Facebook either uh, um, today or yesterday. And... Um, I met her, and she was, you know, Barbara Steele always plays a bitch in every one of her movies. She's always a conniving, two-timing, sneaking around, cheating on her husband bitch in, like, every movie she's in. Maybe she wasn't like that in, um, in, uh, They Came From Within, but pretty much everything else, she's like that. And... It was funny because when I met her, she acted very aloof and stuck up and shitty in real life. And I just, I, I laughed and my, my daughter was kind of like, wow, she was kind of a bitch, dad. And I was like, yeah, but that's the way I wanted her to act. Like if I had met her and she was like super lovable and hella friendly and, and um, down to earth, like it wouldn't have felt like Barbara Steele. But she was so Barbara Steele. Like... Like I met her, and I, I, you know, when I went when I went to shake her hand, she was like, like the bitch wanted you to kiss her ring almost, and, and like she was royalty, and I was like, um, you know, um, miss, may I please have a photo? You know, could could I get a photo? And she was like, very well, darling, and she like stood up and made this big production out of it and walked around around the table with I must have my glasses on, and. Everything you would imagine her to be, that's the way she was. And um, some of these characters, uh, the way you think they would be is pretty much the way they are. But um, it's always nice when you meet somebody famous and, and they are super cool and they're down to earth. But... Uh, yeah, Barbara Steele was exactly like you think she would be. 
Um, since I was one of the first uh, 75 people in North America to order this, um, since this is the limited, limited version, I got this uh, specially uh, signed, actually used in the film, uh, Fangs. And uh, it really came from Robert Quarry. And um, uh, no bullshit, it's 100% real. But that was only for, like, you know, the first few people that ordered it. So I don't know if you guys could get that. But anyway, this is a really cool set. And you guys um, should check this one out. Um, I've played with the menu. I looked through some of the special features right before I started filming. And it's really clear. The colors pop. It looks amazing. Like I said, Arrow is always putting out good stuff. And, um, yeah, I'm going to be watching both of these movies tonight. So, I just wanted to stop in and say hi, tell you guys you should order this. Um, I got it from Amazon, and, uh... Yeah, it is not that it's not that expensive. I think it's like 45 bucks for the two of them, something like that. But if you guys are a fan of uh cool vampire films, 70s grindhouse stuff, I mean obviously if you're watching this you are, you should check it out. All right, guys. Happy Halloween. <laughs>